and take this short walk with me to work. Make sure I get the right key today. Here we go. In we go. Hi, good morning and when, welcome to Wendy's Pet Salon. Um, thank you for joining me on my short walk to work. Um, this morning I have a Labradoodle, I've got a Bichon and I've got two Cockapoos. Throughout the day I'll uh, share some of my day with you um, and if you'd like to ask any questions um, I can do follow up uh, videos on your questions. So I hope you enjoy this video. Here she is, all done. Looking beautiful. So, um, Bramble comes about every 10 or 12 weeks. Um, she's got quite a low maintenance coat as a Labradoodle because it's wiry. Uh, the curlier ones are a bit more like a poodle. I've got hair on my face. Um, so, I've used my wall uh, KM cordless today with her and I've, I've done her on a five. Um, and the bits that sort of stick out, um, I tend to go over with my little Arco on the same blade, the five, which is the two, uh, the purple, little purple one, just to skim over, just to take any odd ends off. Um, and I've pretty much scissored the head, gone over the top of the head with my comb and scissored all the areas in. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, she's got very good nails, so I have to tip them slightly. Uh, she's a very good girl. Uh, she gets in the bath herself, and she'll get up on the table and everything, won't you? Um, yeah, she's she's an awesome girl. So, uh, yeah, that was Bramble Sit this morning. And I've got little Bichon in a little while. And uh, any questions, pop them below, and don't forget to like and share. So we've got Molly in now, little Molly Bisha, and um, she comes very regular, she comes every four weeks, um, we have a good wash and a, and, a, and a scissor up and shaking her head and everything. She's a good girl. There she is, all fluffy and ready for trimming. Molly, who's this? Who's that? <laughs> that way, look. <laughs> and a little round bobby head. Yeah, so we'll just give her a good scissor all over. And uh, we'll see her again in another four weeks. Oh, look who's here now. Mm -hmm. It's got his hoodie on. They look a bit scared, don't you? They're a bit scared. Yeah. So uh, we're going to give get him dried. Here we are. Leathery, chocolate, teddy bear. You done now? You done? Oh, we're going a bit shorter today because he was a bit, bit nutty in places. And if we don't take him a bit shorter, next time I might have to be saying you have to go very short, and I don't want to do that. So, for sake of taking it a length down shorter, um, hopefully that'll last till next time because they are high maintenance breeds. These cockapoos. Um, lots of combing and brushing and I would advise that you know you not only use the brush but you use your comb um, and, a, and a spray um, you know a grooming detangle spray um, anything really just helps to get all this um, dead coat out because although they say they're a non-malting dog it just means that you have to physically brush out the dead coat it doesn't fall out um, it stays in there. Um, people make the mistake of, of keep bathing them and bathing them and bathing them. Unfortunately, it doesn't melt away. You have to brush it. So, yeah, so got a little bit shorter today, but um, he's fine. He's fine. And it'll last till next time. So, this is Murphy. And Murphy has a, a really practical cut. Um, which I love on cockapoos. You don't have to worry about too much grooming at home. Um, so he's taken on a three length. I've taken 
majority of it off first on the bath here when he dry him so it doesn't take as long to dry because he has um, a hip dysplasia so you know the less time he's here the better so we're going to dry him um, and get him home as soon as we can but he's a, he's a lovely boy he's really shaking he's so lovely he's, uh, I think he's a, a little bit disorientated because this is not the usual place that he gets groomed. This is a new place. I think he sort of recognises me. Uh, well, he's, he's looking at me as if he recognised my voice, but um, <laughs> but he's coming round now. But uh, yeah, so we'll crack on. Oh, well dried and fluffy. So I'm gonna finish clipping off his body and his legs, all the same length, scissor around his feet, and then balancing his head. Um, to his body because obviously he's short on his body um, I don't want a massive head because in eight weeks his head will be even bigger and he'll have no hair on his body and he'll just look like a walking head so we try and balance it out a bit um, so that he doesn't look out of place all done and last dog of the day oh lovely so I didn't go with the three in the end, I went with the I went with the two. Alexa, stop. <laughs> I went with the two. because um, he was a bit matted around this area. Well not matted but just a bit fuzzy, so um it's nice. It's a nice short blade and it fits in with his head. Ready to go. Bye, see you soon. Yeah. This is now Thursday, um, my third day in the new salon. Um, today I've got a cockapoo, a, a miniature poodle, a shih tzu and another cockapoo. Um, so there are my four today and I think if I get finished early then I can, I'm looking to do um, some teeth cleaning, like a border terrier. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy my day. I've got a bit of a dynasty quiff today. What's going on with that? Cut my own fringe. Hey, Bonnie. She's that older girl. She's had just a lot of teeth out, aren't you? But she'll feel better for that. So I'm going to go with the a shortcut on her today, aren't we? I've got my um, my lavender burner on over there. The lavender will help her chill out a bit because she's a bit panty, you know. A bit stressy, aren't you? Yeah. She'll calm down a little bit. So, oh, thank you for trimming. This is her before. Hey. Well done. So we've got bunny. I think my fringe gets worse throughout the day. <laughs> uh, bunny is um, a little bit lively, aren't you? Um, who's down there? Is that you? Uh, she has um, just a lamb trim. We do shorter body and scissor legs in. <gasps> so, um, yeah, but she, she's doing she's doing better today because it's one and one. Normally in the other salon there, there'd be a lot of things going on, so it's nice and oh, oh. Uh, but she's not doing very well. She's got a little shave mark on her leg there. She's been at the vets recently, so she's not feeling so well. So we've got our um, the lavender diffuser on, and we've got some calming spray, uh, the Vita Cannon. Uh, calming spray. I've got this for dogs and I've got this for cats as well so we'll just spray it around. Um, I might just give her a little dab of lavender just under there. Just just helps her just to relax her a little bit. Don't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll crack on. Oh, beautiful. Hey, love you. He's, he's a lot more chilled now. Had the spray on and the lavender and and mum does her face because she's not keen on the clippers and stuff. So uh, her mum sits and she uses a pair of scissors and trims all the face. So it looks good, doesn't it? It's very good. 
So yeah, that's Bonnie. All done. And we're waiting for um, another one. Uh, Shih Tzu next, aren't we? Yeah. We're all bat and dry, aren't we? And my fringe is definitely <laughs> not doing well today. I have um, I use a plastic visor and it, it, it so it doesn't get all water in my face and I wear my ear defenders so having nice hairstyles just they have better hairstyles than me. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna do we're gonna do on you today, Alfred. Uh, we will probably do a um, three comb. Ooh, where's my three comb? The blue, the blue comb attachment. Um, I'll find it, um, and then I'll, I'll scissor shape his face. Um, but he's a good boy, aren't you, Alfred? Alfie, are you a good boy? Yes, he is. He is a good boy. Found it. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, who's that? Who's on there? Who is he? Who is it? Look, he's cute. So this is a three length. Uh, which is a, I found, three comb on my little Arco clipper. I like these because they get in, with a smaller dog, they get in small places. Um, I've skimmed that over the top of his head into the sides and then I've scissored round his face. So, uh, have all your feet and nails done, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so he's all ready to go home. Say bye. We'll go home. Yes. Here's Oscar. He's my last groom of the day. Um, and he's he's kept um, what I call uh, in a low maintenance cockapoo trim, which is um, uh, it's generally on like a three length, 13 millimeter. So, um, but he's not too bad. He hasn't grown that much. So, um, and it's still cold. So. Uh, we're going to concentrate on making sure his feet are nice and short and, um, and then give him a, take a length off and shape up your face, aren't we? He's got a lot of missing teeth, um, he's had a lot of teeth out and we're going to give him his teeth a little bit of a clean as well. We want to keep on top of the ones that he's got. So uh, I use the Emmy toothbrush just to clean his teeth while he's here. So he's having a full groom, full bath and wash and your teeth done. Oh, <laughs> and he's so soft. He's so good. I think they're all a little bit mesmerised because it's the same person, um, but a different place. So they're all trying to get used to, you know, they're looking at me. I should say, I do recognise you, but this is a different place. Um, but they're coming round anyway. So I'll crack on. We're all bathed and fluffed, aren't we? Um, I'll do his teeth before I do his haircut, just to, you know, because I'm going to trim his mouth after he'll end up with a mouth full of toothpaste. So um, what I generally do as well, when I'm doing a lot of trimming, I make sure that I take all this hair around the mouth. Um, it's like cocker spaniels, these are a cross with a cocker spaniel. And in here, they've got like a little groove here and dirt and stuff builds up um, so and you can you get like um, sometimes sores because there's a flap there and and the dirt and muck builds up if it's not cleaned off it'll make it make the mouth sore so I always when I'm when I'm doing a groom make sure that I get all the hairs from around the mouth and sometimes the hairs stick inside the mouth and around their teeth and it keeps all the muck there um, so it's just to really keep his mouth as clean as possible and to help his teeth um, just keep his mouth generally healthy you know keeping that hair around away from his mouth and keeping his mouth clean hey Oscar hey yeah he's a good boy he's a real he's a softy so uh, yeah and I'm just going to skim over him um, because he's got very soft fine hair so it's not, not thick. Um, so we'll just take the ends off and 
make it all look neat and tidy again. I'm definitely going to need a hair wash tonight, so um, we'll crack on. Mm -hmm. 